Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 5 of the sub series creating custom performance counter using C Sharp. In the last video, we created our custom performance counter, and in this video, we will see how to use those counters during the clicks of these buttons register, leave, and update. Let's uh, quickly review all the slides. So first we learned about the basics of a performance counter. Then we talked about the example which we are going to create. And by this time you are aware that we created a group. This is button usage, counter 1, counter 1 is register click and counter 2 is update click. So you saw how we used the counter creation data, counter creation data collection and how we created a category. And after that we created actual performance counter also. And after that we created the actual performance counter as well. And after that we actually created the performance counter object and that was missing here. So this is the major work and we are done with it. Now we will go ahead and start using these performance counters in these three button. And if you see these members, register click and update click. These are all the performance counter instance and it is at class level, right? We just created it on the load, but it was declared as a private member. Now during the button click if you see when register button is clicked we use our register click performance counter and we make a call to the method increment so this will uh, increment the current count of the register click similarly when user clicks the leave button we make use of the same register click and make a call to decrement so the running counter will get adjusted based on register and leave button click and for update we have a separate uh, counter and we are incrementing it so this example simply uses a register leave update and in web based application you can imagine so this uh, register as uh, user uh, loaded a specific page that means the user is online and when user leaves the user is offline and the user left the page then this one is user actually click the register button or they uh, purchased something or they click the subscribe button and done with the online purchase so you can imagine how uh, your site is performing but here it's a desktop application and uh, we are simply checking uh, how many time or how many user is registering and how many user is leaving and how many time the update button is clicked up so just mimic mimicking uh, the button usage based on these click events and here you can see how we are using the increment and decrement method on the counters all right uh, now we'll go to the demo and implement these uh, button clicks so now we will handle register leave as well as update click button handle handler so here if you see um, we will take register clicks that's the performance counter and we created that here and we will make a call to increment method here the same we will do for the update click as well
here we will do the decrement that's all now we can run this uh, sample again we will run the perform on so i'm deleting the existing counter and adding our uh, button usage counter register click add update click add so we added both the counter one is in red color another one is in green let's go to properties and change it to some other color first one is red right here i'm using uh, green only i'm using but i am using a somewhat a high intensity green apply okay now let's uh, bring up our uh, performance counter so register and leave is uh, going to work with the register click we will check that first let's say user clicked okay just now we saw it uh, thrown an error and uh, register click is null because uh, uh, in the previous video itself we created the register and when form is loaded it doesn't create the um, i mean the register click is uh, null so what we can do we will delete this um, counter creation data whenever form unloads so and that will work and we will do that in the next video so during that time we will do the testing also for now we are not able to test it we are getting exception that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye